Well, the main reason the Makerspace is here is to help with student learning. So I think one of the things that's been going well is that we have opportunities to learn that are different for students than before we had the Makerspace. And the other part that's been important is, you know, we're standing outside here in terms of a sewing class that's going on. That began with student interest. It started as an after school club. Uh, they went and asked Sharon to join them, and now Sharon and students are running a sewing activity. So the fact that we can have student interest and that can then transform into a class is something else that we're really excited about with the Makerspace, and we're looking for more of that to happen. We have a metals class that will be starting soon, and that came from a lot of interest. So the space is to help with learning, but it's also about following student interest and creating opportunities that we didn't have before. And with student leadership, that's been really, really good. Well, when it first started, we had just a room uh, with nothing in it. So what we ended up with is eight distinct activities that were offered last year through the Makerspace that had not been offered at Crossroads the year before. Uh, so really, in a way, everything has changed. Everything in the space was either student-made or purchased through the grant or given through donations. So we didn't have 3D printers, we didn't have CNC machines, we didn't have woodworking tools. <laughs> We really, we didn't have Arduino, the microprocessors and working. We, we didn't have any of that. So the people who gave us the money, or the grantors, Innovative Technology Education Fund, that name really became very true. And that their funds have really helped to educate. And it's been through really innovative use of technology. Technology we didn't have before. 